lighting is such an important element in your bird photography. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to use bright sunlight and frontal lighting. So welcome to this video, which is the first in a three-part mini-series all about lighting. Today we're talking about frontal lighting. So what do I mean by that? It's really the, the standard kind of light that a lot of people would use for their photography. And basically you have the sun behind you. So when you're shooting towards the subject, you have the sun somewhere behind you coming through onto the subject. That is known as frontal lighting. And to do that, we really need fairly strong directional light. So we need fairly bright sunlight coming from one place the sun. So why would we shoot in bright sunlight? Well you don't have to all the time but it can really help to lift your images, it can bring out the colour, it can help separate more from the background. Uh, one of the other things it will do as well is give a highlight to the eye and that's really important in bird photography. Um, another little tip as well is that if you're shooting on those really clear days with blue skies then you've automatically got some kind of background. You can shoot against that blue sky as well which again you're not going to get in overcast conditions. The problem with using this kind of directional light is when the sun gets too high in the sky. So the closer you get to the middle of the day when the sun is much higher, that's where it starts to affect your pictures in a negative way. And you've probably heard people talk about how you shouldn't shoot in the middle of the day. And generally speaking, I would agree with that if the sky is fairly clear and the sun is strong. The light becomes harsher. It's just not the same kind of quality as it would be when the sun's lower. Uh, one of the things it can do is actually affect the colors. So if we take this picture of a wimbrel taken in Iceland early in the afternoon where the light was very bright there, you can see that the, the feather detail just, it isn't quite as good uh, and the colors just look a little more drab. They're just not as rich and that's simply because the sun's higher in the sky. The other issue is that the higher the sun gets in the sky, the more you're gonna get shadows and the harsher the shadows are gonna become. So with this image of a robin taken at one of my feeding stations, you can see the right hand side of the bird is lit reasonably okay. The left hand side and the back of the bird is going into shadow. That's because the sun was on the right hand side and at this point the sun had just got too high in the sky. It's causing that shadow on the left hand side and that's really not making the image that appealing. But if the sun is getting quite high in the sky and you're still shooting, then I would make an effort to try and get the sun as directly behind you as possible. The reason being that it's gonna reduce the shadows. The, the more angle you have, the worse the shadows are gonna be. Photographing white birds as well becomes increasingly difficult in bright sunlight. So that's really because you've got so much contrast and reflection and glare from the feathers. It can be very difficult to get a good exposure in these conditions. For example, with this swan, where the bird is all white plumage, very, very difficult to get a nice exposure. The sun here is just too bright, way too bright for my liking. And for birds that have patches of white on their plumage, which is a surprising amount, uh, such as this lapwing, you can see most of the bird, the exposure looks okay, but because the sun is so high in the sky, the white areas are just coming too bright. They're really burning out on this image. So it's very, very difficult to control the exposures with white birds in bright sunlight. So when we're shooting in bright sunlight, I would suggest that you try and shoot within three hours of sunrise and three hours of sunset. I think you're gonna get much better quality light that way. Uh, this does become difficult in the summertime because of the sunrise and sunset times. Uh, for myself, I would hardly shoot between seven in the morning and maybe six in the evening uh, in midsummer. So you're probably thinking, what do I do? Well, various things, sleep probably. Um, winter isn't so bad because the sun is lower all day and there are some days in the winter where you could shoot all day through without a problem. So for myself personally throughout much of the year I like to shoot my images um, in the first hour and a half after sunrise and an hour and a half before sunset. In this example here of a pair of turtle doves in Serbia this was very very early just as the sun had come up so this was definitely within the first hour of sunlight and it's just really nice soft golden light raking across the birds really separates from the background nicely Another benefit of this low sunlight is for photographing birds in flight. So one of the problems with your birds in flight photography is if the sun is too high in the sky, it can easily cause shadows onto the bird from the wings. So it's much better to shoot when the sun is lower. And if you do this, it's just so much easier to light the underside of the bird. It's just way more consistent. 
Here's an example of a pair of Canada geese in flight. So this image was taken probably within an hour of sunrise and because the sun is so low in the sky it's just automatically lighting more of the underside of the bird making it much more easy to get a good exposure and get all that lovely detail underneath. Strong lighting also allows you to use another technique which is actually to throw the background into shadow. So hopefully it's working a little bit here on the camera behind me. Um, if you get the right sort of combination of light and background you can actually throw the background very much into shadow, almost completely black if you do it right. And the only way you can do that is to use strong light. Here in this example of a blue tick, you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, the light is actually coming through, just coming through over a hedge onto the blue tick, but it's not reaching the background at all. Hence why the bird is nicely exposed, but the background is almost completely black. So another use of directional lighting right there. So look out for the next video, which is going to be all about backlighting very soon. Uh, if you want to know more about photographing small birds in particular, then click the link up here for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.